Hello people! So, this is the second part of The Witcher 2 story recap covering the second chapter. A lot of backstory, political intrigue and general complicated story bits happen here. So this chapter had to be a bit longer than the previous one because there's just so much stuff happening here. And if you haven't watched the first part yet, I'd really recommend you to do so because trust me, you really don't want the story to be even more convoluted than it already is. So with that said, here we go! Before we get into the in-game events, you're gonna wanna know a bit about the backstory of Edern, which this chapter takes place in. Upper Edern has always been a disputed region between Edern and Kedwin. King Hansel, who ruled Kedwin, took the region some years ago, but after a large peace treaty, it was given back to Edern and its ruler, King Damavan, but he gets shanked by Letho shortly before the game begins. So with him gone, Hansel takes the opportunity and tries to once again take control over the region, but this time his path is blocked by an even greater enemy. This guy, and this guy, and a lot of these guys. In fact, every dwarf, elf and human lowborn in the region flips in the bird and starts a revolt led by Saskia the Dragonslayer. They're located in the city called Vergen. Fast forwarding to current time, they both agree to a pre-war meeting, but like some goddamn tradition, they still end up fighting each other. During the fight, Hansel ends up decorating a stone wall with a priest's brain substance, which causes an old powerful curse to activate. The curse makes all the soldiers who died in a previous war to come back as undead specters and to fight for all eternity in a slowly expanding fog that surrounds the area. Whether you went with Grot or Jovet, Geralt and company ends up right in the middle of it. But this is a time where your choice of companion splits the story into two parts, so we'll start with Roach's path. Saskia and her company flees the area, so you'll have to fight your way out of the mist with the help of Roach, Hansel, Chile and Deathmold. You make it back to Hansel's camp where you learn about the curse. Turns out that the army of spectres are the undead soldiers brought back to life. They're from a battle between Cadwin and Adern that took place in Lomach three years before the game, but nobody was declared winner because both sides got completely wrecked when Hansel sorcerer Sabrina Glevisig decided to speed things up by dropping a motherfucking meteor strike right in the middle of the battlefield, killing over 3000 men both Cadwini and Adernian. Of course Hansel gets pissed. So pissed that he orders her bound to a wagon wheel and burned alive. But before dying she's able to cast a curse on Hansel, so technically, the spectral mist appeared because of the awakening of this curse. So if they don't find a way to break this spell, the mist will keep on expanding and devour Hansel and his army because apparently they forgot their boats on the other side of the fucking river or something. So in order to break this spell you'll need 4 artifacts and also perform a ritual to appease Sabrina's ghost. So off you go to get a flag, a dead guy's armor, Hansel's medallion and another dead guy's sword. The sword, armor and flag aren't too difficult to get your hands on, but the problem with Hansel's medallion is that Hansel really likes his medallion. He refuses to let go of it until you've dealt with Sabrina's curse. So to do that, you summon her ghost by performing a ritual on the site of her death and let Hansel stab her back to death, because apparently that's how you appease ghosts. After that, you meet him in his tent to finally get the medallion, right? <laughs> nope. Say hello to Sariton Dogs, Witcher Assassin you and sidekicks for Letho. Now kill off, and say goodbye to Sarit. Piece of cake. So, can we get the medallion now? No? Really? God damn it, Hansel. So, before you can get the medallion and break the curse, you'll first have to clear up the assassination issue. So, with Deathmold's help, you jump into Ox's mind to relieve his last memories. While poking in his mind, you discover several things. The location of their hideout, Lethal's plans to travel to Loch Mean where a large summit between the kings and mages is to take place, and the fact that Shili was helping the assassins. Geralt wakes up and is told that Shili went ahead to look for Sarit. You get to the hideout but finds out that Shili has already been there, and Sarit is dying. His last words triggers yet another flashback. So with the assassin duo out of the way and Lethal being way too far away to even bother chasing at the moment, you head back to the camp to finally get the medallion. Now, to fix this curse. To lift the curse you'll need to enter the mist, relive the battle and during the right time, change its course. After entering the mist you jump back and forth between different raids while reliving the battle. You fight some raids, dodge a shit ton of flaming arrows, jump into the body of Selkirk who's this badass legendary knight from Edern, and kill even more raids. You also get to see Sabrina talk with some sorceresses through some magic... Um, you know, that Skype equivalent. Including Sheely and Philippa Eilhart, the lady Triss may have talked in chapter 1. They agree that Sabrina should summon the meteor strike because Hensel's expansions would go against the interest of the Lodge. Now, what is the Lodge? You'll see. 
in time, just remember the name for now. As Selkirk you later on into Vandergriff, this other legendary knight from Cadwen. This is where you change the course of the battle. Originally, Vandergrift sliced Selkirk from his head to his balls, but this time, you kill Vandergrift. Although the spirit of Vandergrift is now a drug, aka this huge fucking guy, so um, have fun. Also, he's got archers backing him up. And fucking Krubbishes. But you beat him anyways. Good job. So by now the curse is broken, and after seeing Hansel sent Sabrina to death, you get to exit the mist. After this, you get yet another flashback explaining how you met Letho by saving his life from a monster. In return, he helped you track down the Wild Hunt, a group of mysterious specters who, prior to the game, kidnapped your true love, Jennifer. And now you might ask, if Jennifer is his true love, then what about Triss? Well, she's kind of the third wheel who took the opportunity for her and Geralt to be friends with benefits. But she still helps you learn about your past and track down Jennifer, because, well, she's just nice like that. You then wake up in a brothel outside of the camp. Your friend Dandelion explains that you've been out for three days and how Hensel has moved his army towards Vergen. You go and look for Roach and finds him in a hut speaking with some nobles. Turns out that he's been behind a conspiracy that Deathmold has been investigating. For several years, Roach had people spy on Hensel, but now with Hensel taking over the Pontra Valley and Deathmold being close to capturing them, they say screw it and leaves before they get captured too, despite how much Roach insists that they stay. He realizes how close Deathmold is to get to him, so he and you rush back to the camp where Roach's men are, only to be attacked by Cadwenny soldiers. You're able to kill them all because, let's face it, a few regular soldiers don't really come off as much of a challenge after you killed a giant fiery incarnation of pain and death. But in the end you find all of Roach's men dead, except for Vess who was raped by Hansel. Despite being pissed as fuck, Roach agrees to let revenge go for now and instead escape and find Sheila who knows about Letho. She's in Vergen where Hansel's and Saskia's armies are still fighting. You fight your way there, get to the city which by now is breached by Hansel's army, kill more people and find Sheila just as she teleports away to Lochmuin. Hansel and his bodyguards enter the room and try to kill you once and for all. Doesn't go too well though. You kill his bodyguards and incapitate Hansel. You then have a choice to let Roach kill Hansel and have his revenge, or convince Roach to let Hansel live. Regardless, you leave the city which by now has been completely taken by Hansel's army, and head off to Loch Buin. So yeah, that's Roach's path. As you can see, this chapter is really long and has a fuck ton of backstory. And this is just half the story. Here's how things will go if you side with your vet. Luckily, this should go quicker because you already know a bit about the backstory by now. So, here we go. Rewinding back to when Saskia and Hansel fought under meeting, the curse is activated and the mist appears. This time, you and Jovet get to the meeting in time to save Saskia, who's accompanied by Philippa Eilat and Prince Stannis, son of Demavent, aka former ruler of Edern before he got janked by Letho. You fight your way through the mist and this time get to Vergen. There you get to a council meeting with Saskia, Philippa, Sultan, Stannis and the other commanders. You learn about the current situation of her army and how they're supposed to bring down the mist. You all share Toast and Saskia ends up being poisoned, so now you'll have to help cure her as well. So you get to work and get the two magical items while also collecting ingredients for an antidote to cure Saskia. While searching for the ingredients, the peasant starts accusing Prince Stannis of being the one who poisoned her. They're pretty pissed, even ready to lynch him. So here you can choose to calm the crowd and save his life, or just let him lynch him. If you let him die, you'll be able to collect some royal blood, which is one of the antidote's ingredients. If you save his life, all you get is to kiss his royal ass, because he's too much of a dick to give you a drip of his blood, forcing you to find another way to get the ingredient. During your search, you also learn that Triss has been located on the other side of the mist at Hansel's camp. So, with some help from Philippa, you make it to the other side and stumble upon Roach and his unit, who helps you get to the Nilfgaardian camp. Now, what the hell is a Nilfgaard? Well, you see, Nilfgaard is this massive empire comparable to Rome. Nilfgaard has been continuously conquering their way north where the northern kingdoms like Cadwen, Adern and Temeri are located, but have recently agreed to temporarily bury the hatchet and have a time of peace, which is why Hansel lets them have an ambassador and a camp among his army in the first place. So in this camp you find out that they have kidnapped Triss and turned her into a tiny statuette. But before you can do anything about it, they captured you and the ambassador sails off with Triss literally in his pocket. The remaining soldiers are about to execute you when Roach and company shows up and saves your life. After this, you can head to Hensel's camp and convince him to get you some of that royal blood if you didn't get it earlier. Once all that is done, you return to Vergen and brings Philippa the ingredients. 
You guess it's here perform this poison curing lesbomancy ritual. And with that done and all the magic items in your pocket, you are hereby ready to enter the mist and break the curse. You should know the drill by now. Enter mist, fight rate, dodge arrows, more rate, big fucking rate with a big fucking sword, and fireworks. After fixing the curse, you get the flashback about Letho and the Wild Hunt. Later wakes up in Vergen, just in time to see Hansel appear with his army. You're gonna have to defend the town from his assault, and it goes pretty well, even though your allies consist of peasants. Once the first assaults are over, you and Saskia enter the underground tunnels to make sure nobody's trying to use it to ambush you. And yeah, that's exactly what happens. You encounter Deathmold and some soldiers and have a fight down there. Deathmold almost kills you. But luckily it turns out that Saskia is actually a motherfucking dragon who saves your ass and makes Deathmode just nope the fuck out of there. You then get back up to the walls, just in time for Hansel to launch his third and final assault. The defending side is pretty much spent, but Saskia convinces them to hold the line with a speech straight out of Braveheart. So you fight on, and just as it all seems hopeless, Jovet appears with a hundred elven archers and just rains hell on them cutting off Hansel from his main force and forcing him to surrender. So it's all good. Hansel has surrendered, Vergen is an independent state, and Deathmold gets straight up executed. What's not like about that? So you all share and go have a drink. Wait, where's Saskia? Oh shit. Well, it turns out that she and Philippa went to lock me in without telling anyone. And it also turns out that while Philippa cured Saskia, she also injected her own venom to basically manipulate her mind. So you and Jovet have to leave all the celebration behind and head off to Loch Muin, where Saskia, Philippa, Triss and Letho have gone. And that's the end of chapter 2. It was a long fucking chapter alright, but now we're finally heading to the epic conclusion. So thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, maybe to the point where you can show that like and subscribe button some love. And as always, I'll see you next time.